dancing is human. And dancing is a universal form of communication. Human beings use it as well as molecules inside the cells of living bodies. Members of cell networks at the EMBL, the European Molecular Biology Laboratory, and the Heidelberg Institute for Theoretical Studies analyze how proteins interact with one another. They discovered that completely flexible, so-called intrinsically disordered proteins, the IDPs, are much more versatile and faster in transferring information than folded proteins. Their bindings are ultra-fast and enable successful and reliable communication within picoseconds. We needed to team up with chemists, biologists, physicists in a very interdisciplinary team to solve that riddle of how this molecular dance, this molecular interaction can be so fast. One of the proteins, as you can see, shows on the surface a high number of binding motifs that are ready to engage on the surface of the other partner. The binding can be extremely fast, at the same time can be extremely specific and extremely efficient without involving any conformational rearrangement of the two partners. Those IDPs move ultra-fast. They constantly modify their shape. A very flexible and disordered protein can bind to its receptor within billionths of a second. A highly reactive surface, together with an immense speed, ensures efficient proofreading. IDPs are good at being recognized by multiple partners. Only those proteins which are able to bind to each other are allowed to move into the nucleus. The flexible shapes and ultra-fast bindings of the IDPs could be the reason why they're more common in evolutionarily higher organisms. More complex organisms like humans, like us, actually like to use for precise function these flexible molecules even though they're so dynamic. And uh, that makes them actually also very hard to study by conventional approaches. And since we have 30 to 50 percent of our proteome built from those machineries, we frequently call this the dark proteome. To understand the dynamics of the IDPs, scientists of the two institutions combine their expertise in bioengineering and computational techniques. In doing so, they could get the best possible insight into the dance of proteins.